Ladies and gents, we have a build today. I'm on the travel mic, by the way, so I might sound a tad bit different. But essentially, the idea with this build is very, very simple. How can we make Sturm one shot in Crucible consistently? So ladies and gents, we're gonna be taking Sturm, combining it with our exotic Titan Leg Armor pieces, Phoenix Cradle with Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, and of course, Charge with Light. So ladies and gents, I present to you Sturm over Overcharge. Ha! Now you're probably seeing some of the gameplay. Yes, we are consistently getting one taps. And this is something we've always known we could do. There's been a number of combinations out there, whether it was like Weapons of Light, maybe Bottom Tree Striker with Frontal Assault. But the reason why Sturm even has this high of damage, and yes, it is one tapping folks inside of Crucible, is because of the Drain Sturm combo called Storm and Stress. Kills with Drain, reload this weapon, and overflow a bonus damage round into the magazine. Drain is the sidearm that is present in the energy slot. You can actually farm for rolls on this weapon inside of the menagerie. Unfortunately, Drang is being sunset. But considering that Bungie has actually come out and stated that exotics will not be sunsetting in any kind of way, I'm under the assumption that Drang is surely going to be able to be reobtained in Beyond Light. Now, Sturm is a 110 round per minute hand cannon. And if you have the catalyst for this weapon, this actually greatly boosts your range and your handling. Honestly, the best stats that are present on a 110 is this right here i mean we got 91 range and 73 handling but essentially that damage starts off at 91 per crit and 50 per body but with sturm overcharge though it actually kicks up to 163 damage per crit effectively making it a two tap which can kill in 0.53 seconds now as beautiful as that may sound in a world of special weapons you're still at a major disadvantage rocking double primaries is not an easy thing to do which is why we're doing everything in our power today to buff the damage enough to one shot kill with sturm so a couple things at play first up we are rocking bottom tree sunbreaker taking advantage of sun warrior which actually increases our damage when we pass through our own sunspots sunspots this season might be the easiest season to spot them essentially because the artifact mod solar plexus is available this actually increases the damage of our solar melee abilities and with a perk like mortar blast which is present there on bottom tree sunbreaker you can pretty much one hit kill an opponent with one melee which is kind of insane of course you gotta wait for the burn damage to take effect but regardless though that increase in damage allows for more secured melee kills thus resulting in sunspots being formed. Now, the moment you actually pass into that sunspot, you have a five second duration there where you get an increase to all of your damage. Unfortunately, five seconds is just not a lot, which is where Phoenix Cradle comes in with its exotic perk, Beacons of Empowerment. Sun Warrior lasts twice as long. Allies who pass through your sunspots are also granted Sun Warrior, a fantastic exotic, probably my favorite exotic to bring inside of 6v6. For builds such as these, where I'm trying to retain a for an extended period of time this is about as good as it gets now the combined damage of Sturm and Sun Warrior actually increases our damage to 109 you can actually two tap with Sturm so you're walking around flat-footed getting kills at 0.53 seconds which is extremely deadly but if you happen to get that drain kill and get that Sturm overcharge round that in combination with Sun Warrior will present us with a beautiful 195 damage fellas that's enough to kill any guardian seven resilience or less which i don't know about you that's the majority of us i normally never go past six rarely am i ever at seven or higher after the day you might actually start using higher resilience if this build actually takes off so that's path number one to obtaining one shot capabilities with stern path number two actually takes advantage of charge with light charge with light being a status buff effect they can work in a number of different ways. Previous seasons, it seemed to really only benefit you inside of PvE, although it did have some place inside of PvP, but with a harder setup. This season though, we've been able to take advantage of Charge with Light much easier due to the perk Charge Harvester. Now this is a mod that allows us to randomly become Charged with Light upon getting kills or assists inside of crucible or inside of anywhere this is extremely beneficial inside of crucible as just randomly you can obtain charge with light now if you're rocking the right mod combinations things like stacks on stacks when you obtain a charge with light you'll actually obtain two charges of light and in order to actually increase our damage you have to be rocking the mod high energy fire again similar to sun warrior this increases the damage for all our weapons 
So it's honestly something that really benefits us even before we get Sturm Overcharge. Like just getting Drain Kills, having that increase there in damage, can really turn the tide in your favor mid gunfight. Now with high energy fire, Sturm is actually able to hit 109 damage per crit. Essentially the same as Sturm with Sun Warrior, enough to two tap. But with Sturm Overcharge plus that charge of light and high energy fire, this increases our damage to, you guessed it, that 195. Extremely deadly, guys. You'll be catching a lot of people off guard. Most people are just not expecting to get one tapped, especially with something that has such a long buff capability like charges of light with high energy fire or even Sun Warrior with Phoenix Cradle. Now, throughout this process of chaining kills, you probably notice that sunspots are spawning up whenever I have my Sun Warrior perk and I get a kill with it. Inside of crucible it's a one-to-one -one ratio meaning that if you have the sun warrior perk and that buff active when you get a kill whatever kill it is it will spawn a sunspot allowing you to dip in there refresh the buff all over again and continually chain kills now the sunspots all on their own are extremely deadly man anybody that steps in them it does 50 damage per tick almost instantly killing them it's completely nuts again hands down bottom tree hammers and that entire subclass is probably the best subclass for 6v6 and i've got friends that use it inside of 3v3 elim inside of trials they like it there i kind of like it but its biggest selling point to me is inside of 6v6 for these multi kills now one other suggestion that we make here when using sturm you're constantly trying to get those charges of light take advantage of high energy fire go ahead and rock out the perk taking charge this essentially will allow you to pick up those charges of light when you go and pick up orbs now if you have your drain masterwork there was a few times that i actually got double kills with my drain which by the way don't bat an eye at i know it's a sidearm but drain is a disgusting sidearm if you have it masterwork though you can actually drop your orbs your Yourself, and you can pick them up thus giving yourself those two charges with light or to me something like taking charge is really able to be taken advantage of about midway through a match when everyone is popping supers go behind your teammates and your allies pick up the orbs that they're dropping and enjoy that free 20 percent buff here stacked on with sturm and sturm overcharge hands down guys this is by far the most enjoyment i've had inside of crucible i like doing quirky builds sturm and drang and the combination that it presents has always been quirky and we've always had ways of potentially getting the one shot kill inside of crucible but they weren't easily manageable this to me is the most manageable one shot capabilities i've ever seen here with sturm and it's a play style that people are just not expecting so fellas try it out for yourselves for those that are still on the hunt for a good drain enjoy it now as it will be getting sunset in november like i said it's gonna be crazy if bungie does not actually give us an updated drain next season the upside is is that most of us that like to use these combos it's just in regular crucible so you can still use this combo in regular crucible where power level is not even enabled not many of us are going to be bringing a sturm and drain combo inside of trials Still, for PvE players especially, Drain 100% should get reissued as combinations and builds like these are some of the most fun I've ever had. So guys, try it out for yourselves. Load up Titan today, grab those Phoenix Cradles, rock that Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, dust off that Sturm, and get to one shot in opponents. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. You have zone advantage.
This battle is yours. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. You have advantage. Keep the pressure on. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. Double down. <laughs> 